good evening my dear i am nikhil marpalli and i am studying in diploma in two engineering and digital manufacturing fourth semester t2 section i am studying at gamavaram training center i am here to present my short talk my topic name is defects of train direction in this topic we are going to know about what are the defects or what are the disadvantages we are going to face in train direction and what is train direction train direction it is also called as rolling direction mainly this term of word is used in manufacturing of sheet metal components coils plates and in some cases iron parts too so which which are doing rolling after doing after doing the rolling is also called as train direction as you all know that there are two types of rollings one is cold rolling system and second one is hot rolling system as you see in the figure the first one is cold rolling system because it is in cold condition and the second one it is in hot rolling condition here we can observe the coil which is with lightning so that is an hot rolling system so we have can we can have an doubt why this grain direction is more useful and where we have to applicable to this grain direction so we have to check the grain direction while when we are going for any bending operation why it is useful to check the grain direction in bending operation it is useful to get the bending radius without any cracks breakages with an accurate surface finish and also we have to do the bending operation perpendicular to the grain direction then only we can get the bending operation without any breakages and cracks here we can observe the two figures in this in this plane in this plane we can observe two figures and first one and second one in the first one we can observe the bending is done in the perpendicular axis to the grain direction at the radius we can observe there are no cracks it is having plane surface without any cracks and breakages but if we can observe the second figure then we can observe some more cracks because it is parallel to the bending direction that means the bending has done parallel to the grain direction so that is why there are the possibilities of cracks and breakages now let's see how the rolling is done here we can observe the two this the first is the the roll is getting coiled by the different type of mechanism in hot condition and the second picture if we can observe the metal the molten metal is flowing on the floor so the direction which the metal index is flowing that is called the grain direction by that we can identify the grain direction for example let me show you an live example let us think that this is an sheet metal component let us take this paper as in sheet metal component and these arrows indicate the grain direction so what will happen that means the metal index is flowing in this direction so that is why this this direction is the grain direction of the sheet metal let's see here we can observe that the cutting is takes place in a straight angle because this is the angle or this is the direction of the grain direction so that is why there are more number of chances to get the cracks or breakages of the sheet metal but see in this direction the piece perpendicularly here we can observe the line cross to the grain direction because this line is going to sink to the parallel condition of the sheet metal so that is why the bending in the perpendicular axis is more stronger than the parallel axis so we have to go through the perpendicular axis by any bending operation now let's see in video an important aspect of your part is having the correct grain direction because the direction of the grain on the part makes a difference Here's an example of a part that was grained in the long direction of the part which is also parallel to one of the bends. Unfortunately, that can cause the bend to crack on the outside. That's why it's good practice to either have your grain going against your bend or in a case like this part where there's bends going in both directions, the best way to eliminate that issue is to time save the part at an angle. We process the parts with the grain going against the bend. It's a All right, 
friends, in this video what we have observed, in this video one man is holding a sheet metal with four sides bending. But unfortunately at the parallel side of the bend there are somewhat cracks and breakages. So that component is rejected. But perpendicularly if you had turning, if you had turned the bending means there are no cracks. So how to overcome it? In this video we have also observed the solution for the four bending, four sides bending operation. For example, if we take any sheet metal component, if, they, if we want both sides bending, like parallel and perpendicular, we have to tilt our bending tool to the 45 degrees. That means against the both grain directions. Thank you. Friends, once again, let's watch this video and let me explain in my own way. In this video, we can observe the one person. He is holding the sheet metal components with a four sides bending and he is showing the grain direction in a particular way. So that is the grain direction of the sheet. And also we can observe that he had done the bending operation parallel to the grain direction. So there are somewhat cracks have been happened. And here we can observe that without any cracks the bending has done. Why? Because he had done the bending operation perpendicular to the grain direction. And now he is telling that, for example, if we want the bending for four side direction, what we have to do? We have to do the bending in the perpendicular and not parallel. It should be done in the 45 degrees angle. So by that, we can avoid the cracks and breakages when we are when we want to achieve the four side bending operation. Thank you.